All right, boys, we ready? We hyped up? Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's fucking go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I'm a boomer. I think I'm a zoomer. I think I'm a doomer. Damn, I'm like a zoomer. Okay. E double G W H I T E coming with the heat. I stay fooling with my bop, my tunes will make your speakers hot. Dance for a hop, scotch, baby, do the pop and knock. Welcome to, to the grill cast. Oh no, I have to run the show. All the hate, I'm numb to it. Drop the beat, I'm dumb to it. Hey, hey, that turn the music off. Long. Hey. Turn off the goddamn hey. music. What's up, my grillas? Welcome to the Grillcast, the only podcast in the world dedicated to radical centrism. I am your host, Lorraine. Joining me, as always, is Micah. What's up, big guy? How do you always find a way to, to fuck up the beginning? I mean, like, uh, fucking up yeah. is my specialty. Uh, that's that's my <laughs> Get profession. It together. I'm a professional fuck up. Now, I want to introduce our guest today. Very, very special guest. He's a host of the Young Who Whites on the right side. Biz, we have Nikkei Kato Avocado. What's up, buddy? <laughs> I've never heard that one, but I really don't like it. <laughs> and I gotta correct Why don't the you right like stuff. It? That, but why do you think I don't like it? <laughs> Well, it's going to stick, know. all right? Our word carries weight <laughs> now, all right? Oh, no. We are huge now. I am an e-celebrity. I'm an e-celebrity! Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Yeah, that, that guy is just a mess. Nick Okada Avocado. I don't, I don't know why, like, we live uh, in a like in a place where this is culturally acceptable. Like, aren't people embarrassed watching that? Well, but it's a bit. You know, that's a bit, right? Like, like that oh, whole the, thing. The, him like, ruining the... his life is a bit. Him, him destroying his body. And is, is and this the I... is this the cope about him? No, it's a bit. It's a bit. So he's secretly not about? fat. No, he is. He's definitely fat, but that's part of the bit. Look, can we can we move a, on from this? Sorry, we're trying to, to we're, we're we're trying to introduce you. Okay, can you fucking can you fucking help help me out here and and okay, tell people sorry. about yeah, your apparently tell people I got about your, your website. Yeah, you're, apparently I got your website wrong or something. I'm sorry. Yeah, the the right stuff dot biz. Yeah, the right stuff dot biz. Okay. How many proxies do you need to go through to find that website? Hmm. There's several. Uh, you can't use Finland. You. Actually, uh, if you try to u- go through like a Finnish VPN, you have to pass a uh, a captcha, I think. Yeah, you know what's wild about that is uh, I tried to I tried to do a Google search for your website to try and listen to some of your stuff, and it just doesn't pop up. I do the right stuff dot biz or the right stuff on there, and it just doesn't want to come up. And uh, you know, I'm sure that you have a lot of feelings about being de-indexed off Google and stuff like that. But have you ever considered that it you know it might be your guys's fault? I mean, it's definitely our fault, just for with the content we put out. I mean, I don't feel bad about it. I think people listening at this point might be a little bit confused as to what we're alluding to. But let me let me just quickly explain that um, we, we here at the Grillcast have worked tirelessly to form the biggest of tent coalitions uh, imaginable. We have we've had communists, conservatives, progressives, libertarians, anime sexuals, landlords, trans community members, MGTOW people. And uh, to add on to that today, uh, we have a real life fascist. That's right. We're finally being inclusive uh, towards but the I've fascist been on here community. before. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're finally being inclusive. That that didn't count. That that didn't really count. We weren't, okay. we, weren't we weren't getting to know you or talking. If you have you. Ryan like, wasn't here. Also the audio like, was shit. Two people uh, on the opposite sides of the political spectrum they cancel out. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so, that makes sense. So yeah, that's that's uh that's the whole dealio here. Um, and just to just to qualify the episode and to clarify for YouTube, I do hate your guts and I I do hate what you stand for and you're racist and that's disgusting. Um, so we can Grr, move past those pleasantries. Makes me so mad. It really does. Oh, it boils my blood. Do you hear that, Susan? <laughs> that's what that's what they genuinely believe. So. <laughs> I'm so angry. But uh, before before we go on, because I do have a few questions for you. Um, okay. But before we do that, I just want to uh, <laughs> I wanna <the> address. <laughs> In beforeing wanna... yourself. Exactly. I want to mention our new uh, wildly successful video that uh, I'm sure some viewers of this episode today 
found their way here through that video. So I want to give out some thanks. Um, I want to thank Russia for making it possible for us to make this video. You know, without Russia uh, invading Ukraine, I wouldn't have had that content. Yep. So, and, you uh, know, don't, overall... No. Don't, don't worry about gas prices. Uh, just two more weeks to stop the spread of Russian influence. Just, just two more weeks to stop the spread of Russian influence and we'll go back to normal. Don't worry, guys. Um, I want to thank Reddit for, uh, you know, platforming volunteers for Ukraine to send neckbeards to go die in a foreign country. Again, making content for me. Um, you know, I couldn't have done it without all these uh, without all these actors being retarded. So I just want to. <laughs> I just want to thank everyone for that. Uh, also, a big shout out to uh, Al, our friend Al. Oh, yeah, Al. Our boy Al Go Rhythm. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Go Rhythm really Mr. stepped up and uh, helped us get more viewers. So I appreciate his work in doing that. Um, yeah, thanks, Al. I have a love hate relationship with Al. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes Al doesn't help you out. He's a fickle mistress. That's the thing about algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> but when he comes through, he really comes through. Yeah, he does. My boy Al. So, so you got some questions. Yes, I do have some questions for you. As our uh, representative of the far right, I have to ask, um, I guess, first of all, why is the online far right filled with cat boys, furries, and anime fans? Uh, I'm going to chalk that one up to, to 4chan, um, which is where I came from, to be honest. Uh, that's where, you know, my interest in politics like really took off was when uh, they made the wonderful decision to add the politically incorrect board. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, and, you know, it, it attracts all types. Uh, so that's why you have like a fair number of degenerates involved. I don't know. I'm I'm always a big fan of of gatekeeping, and yes. especially when yes. your if your hobby is uh, online racism, then you know, <laughs> like, it's like any other hobby, you should gatekeep it. I'm an online racism <laughs> enthusiast. Yeah, you know the there's not enough gatekeeping in the racism community. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's something we've said for a long the time. The irony is not show, lost is on us. <laughs> no, it hasn't been lost on anyone. In fact, it's the most glaring thing about it. That's one thing that's funny is uh, one thing that's often said about the online racism community is it doesn't matter what skin color you are, what you believe, as long as you're also racist, like you will be accepted with open arms. That's true. <laughs> it is true. And it's really like, it's kind of surreal, honestly, like when you see it in action, like people of all different ethnic backgrounds being racist together. Name a country and I'll find you a person there that absolutely hates Israel with every fiber of their being. Well, we don't want to, we don't necessarily want to talk about that. Um, I actually, I actually do want to talk about that a little bit, you know? So if the premise of white nationalism is that white people are the top tier race, why is Israel always winning? Why are the Jews like, like your, your guys, this whole thing is like, Oh, the Jews, they control the banks and you know, we're sending all of our money to Israel and blah, blah, blah. But like, if, if, if white people are better then like, how come, how come they're taking so many L's all the time? Uh, I don't, I wouldn't say white nationalism is the same thing as like having a supremacist belief. Um, but if we, if we want to look at this through the lens of supremacism, uh, I mean, when you're dealing with a, a power structure that already exists, like after you've had a sort of racial uh, understanding, which is, I mean, in this country, it's kind of confused. Um looking historically like where jews have fallen in regards to like racial categories is it's been different at different times and in different places throughout the country like notably in the south um during the civil war you had a lot of uh jews involved in even southern finance and like we're talking about a, a very explicit uh yeah, racial that's their, supremacist that's their, state that's, that's their niche you know yeah so the uh, uh, so the let's not let's minister. not even let's not even frame it as a um let's let's not frame it as a supremacy question okay let's let's try let's try it this way okay like so today like just speaking today mm -hmm. um Jews versus white people uh who's more cringe I honestly could not tell you oof <laughs> oh <laughs> white we're talking about the sure. whole of white people there's a lot to answer for um like who's might, more realistically you know. 
Uh, okay, well, if you want to, if you want to, I go feel like you have the losing team argument. Team A versus Team B. <laughs> team B. I'm saying Jews are going to be more cringe. Oh, I know. No, I can't. No, I no. Can, I don't know if I can agree with that at this at this point in time. You know, I'm just. Oh come on! Like if, like, <laughs> if we're talking just like proportionate, like cringy, just behavior. Jews do like just weird shit in public, man. Like uh, the whole sin chicken shit. That's just fucking what? bizarre. But that's like, like that's in like New York uh, City. Do you I know, know about this? Ta- I, I know, I know what you're talking about. But that's like that's also pretty. Can you like, explain this to me? That's like so obscure that most people don't know about it. Where like the white cringe stuff is like stuff that everybody knows it's about and board, like famous man. comedians, you know, like use on a regular basis. It's not like some obscure niche cultural, you know, activity. Was this a cringe popularity contest or a cringe evaluation? I'm. It's a. It's. It's. I mean, it, it is. Okay, but if you're going to talk about proportions, I mean, then you can't. You can't use that as your like your argument. But that's why can't I? Because well, I don't think it I'm up. the co-host. Oh, sorry. Okay. Jewish people. <laughs> Jewish people do lots of cool stuff. Like they they have Israel. Israel. They're the landlords of the Middle East. Exactly. Like, well, let's just be honest. <laughs> These guys. Uh, okay. Yeah. I won't take that away from you. Yeah, they're they're collecting rent from the Palestoids, right? <laughs> they're fucking. They're they're on top of their game. They have those cool little hats. I wish I could wear one of those hats, but I don't want to be like culturally appropriative. Um, I see. Yeah. <laughs> like they're they're not so worried about like you know it, it, it kind of seems like to me that the thing that white nationalists say about them is that they're able to do what white elites <clears throat> aren't allowed to do, which is like collectivize uh, racially or like in in a sense of their community and be like, hey, we're gonna specifically work to advance our interests. And it kind of seems to me, honestly, like white nationalists kind of cope and see it and dilate about it because like there's too many white people that won't let them do that too i mean i mean does, it's does that make to, sense no I, I get to where you're coming from i i think it would hold up if it were just the fact of like they have a collectivist uh mindset and we don't uh but there's more to it than that when you think in terms of the sort of social decay that is promulgated by jews in our culture in your opinion oh, oh okay <laughs> so it's like it, <laughs> It, it kind of just comes across to me as like how there's like some black people they're like white the whites are keeping us down if it weren't for those pesky <laughs> whites we'd be living in wakanda right now it kind of just seems like that you it, there's like kind of a ladder right a pyramid if you will and they're like at the top of the pyramid and then there's like white people that like it and i'm not saying like a, a pyramid as far as like how i actually view them but just like people shitting on each other and then being like oh i hate that person on the pyramid above me they're oppressing me mm, like I, guess, yeah. I think he nothing? disagrees well, yeah, no, <laughs> I, I just I, I, I get that that's your take I mean I don't uh, I, I can see where you're coming from in terms of like you know oh it just it's just you know he be keeping me down um but like look there's faces <laughs> and names to the people who put out uh but but shit but Nikkei, bad in our culture but Nikkei, do they be keeping you down <laughs> i mean i'm i'm I'm, str- I'm struggling to rise up you know they can't keep, be, keep me down forever if it wasn't for them i'd be living in white condo right now oh, yeah that's what white it sounds condo. like to me white condo white condo <laughs> I want my all white condo community. Oh my god! I, well, um, I'm sure that my uh, rantings have made sure that none of your audience will be subscribing to our show now. <laughs> um, I'll still Micah, promote. You it. A, yeah, I I I did, did want to talk to you. Before, right? Yeah, I do want to talk to him a little bit about a less less sensitive topic, which is um, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and kind of the uh, reaction <laughs> to that. <laughs> shout out Russia! <laughs> shout out Ukraine! Thanks for getting us to the top with Al. Yeah, yeah good seriously. guys over there. Seriously, true kings um, true and queens. Kings. Uh, but uh, I guess, you know, it's it's one of those, it, we're going through a, an, another one of those cycles, right? Where um, mm-hmm. you're seeing, you know, your culture being appropriated, that is fascism, uh, as, as a pejorative term. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's being thrown at, at Putin, um, you know, because of his, his current actions. And I guess I just want to get a little bit of your perspective on a couple of things. Uh, one is, is, is Putin doing a fascism or is that kind of just a cringe take from people who can't read subtitles and watch movies simultaneously mm. I, I would say he's doing a like a conservatism which isn't mm-hmm. the fascism i mean he, he actually has like if, if you wanted to know what like conservative politics looks like when a, 
uh, political entity actually takes it seriously. Mm. Uh, it it's, looks like Vladimir Putin as opposed to like purported conservatism in the United States, which just looks like, you know, more more yeah. liberalism. Uh, no, yeah, I'd agree, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with if that, he but... wanted to be more fascist about things, I would say like a the economy of Russia would have to change dramatically uh, in terms of you know deprivatization, and he did to some extent deprivatize a lot of uh, the the industry in uh, in Russia, but you know not to the extent like you'd you'd say a textbook fascist would. Yeah, and so you you you, you kind of understand what I'm saying though uh, when I'm talking about you know your culture being appropriated as a pejorative and how like yeah i'm, I'm left, used to left that. right center everybody's getting called a fascist and that made me think of this thing called tendril theory have you heard of that before tendril theory is that like tendril, the that's that's opposite basically of horseshoe theory no it's basically on the far right of the spectrum you have fascism and from fascism it's tendrils reach out into every other facet and like area <laughs> of the spectrum so from far right to slightly less right to center to slightly less left to far left and it, it fascism reaches its tendrils into all these areas mm -hmm. and it got me thinking you know it, if it's assuming all parts of the political uh, spectrum can be tendril to fascism wh what if the only qualifying factor to define like someone someone or something is a fascist is for another person is another person's willingness to call it out as such like you're not actually fascist until somebody points out that you are huh that's a very like postmodern uh take on it but I think it, but is I but mean, is that like, like you have to explain to me it, what's going on? It's the take I I subscribe to. Like you know, <laughs> if I get pulled over and get a speeding ticket, that's, that's fascism. fascism. That's, if I stub my toe, that's fascism. You know these things like they want to teach. What, what if, they want to they want to teach gender theory in the schools? Fascism. Ooh, <laughs> I have a question for you. If like you buy a scratch off ticket for two dollars and then you win two dollars on the scratch off, is that fascism? I mean, did you pay? You paid taxes. I mean, you paid a tax on the the scratch off ticket, so it's more like two dollars and twelve cents or something like that. So I do think that is fascism that is, because yeah. whenever whenever I play the lottery or anything, like I'm playing to win. That's kind of just the Sigma grind set I'm on. Like if I'm doing something, I'm doing it to like fucking win and be the best at it. So uh -huh. if I if I do a scratch off, I'm only getting what I put into it. Like I just wasted my time scratching that ticket. I could have spent that minute, like you know, looking at NFTs you lifting, might want to buy. Yeah, looking at NFTs I want to flip, investing, uh, drinking beers with the boys, whatever it is. You could have. I mean, so the fact that the state has stolen that time from you is now fascism. Exactly. I see. Okay. Would you support? Does it, does, does it kind of <laughs> yeah. offend? Does it kind of offend you, like the the fact that people water down your ideology by by just tossing it out all the time? Like, do you guys get upset? You're like, no, no, not him, me, me. Yeah. No, I'm the real fascist. I'm. Yeah. Look, I, I can't live like that, so I, I have to learn to just get over it. Um, yeah, but it makes you upset. Like the fact is, like Americans bit. are like you know retarded in that way, and not just Americans, but like a lot of people who and just know the English language broadly. Yeah. Uh, discussing fascism is it's like. It, you can only really have that conversations with people if you want to have like an actual like genuine understanding if somebody actually <laughs> identifies as a fascist like you just so many people uh don't Tell give a more. shit what it actually means and will say it's whatever they don't like like yeah. donald trump being a fascist well it's because i don't like him yeah that's what it boils down to and it or whoever you know it's... like people called obama a fascist oh like, i know Tea Party <laughs> types called him a fascist, a social fascist. That's what I'm saying. Um, All it takes to be a fascist is to be called one. To that's, be disliked. That's the whole... Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's. Uh, I guess we could distinguish textbook fascism, fascism from, uh, you know, modern parlance fascism. I mean, I think we all understand what it is because we have big brains and, you know, we're, we're all pretty highly intelligent uh, individuals. And I think pretty, anybody who watches our show also probably highly intelligent. Um, we're all Rick and Morty viewers here. Yeah. Enthusiasts. Yeah. And if there's one thing that Rick and Morty can really teach you about, it's fascism. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's all I got for you. Uh, but... I guess, I guess to right. close that out, I would just say that, uh, you know, as much as I just gave you a little bit of shit, it does make me sad to see uh, your culture being erased yeah. um, <laughs> of, of actual fascism and being appropriated by people who don't know what it means. 
Yeah. Uh, it, it, it disgusts me. It really and does. I'm sure you understand as a centrist what it means to have your labels mis- misused. Yes, absolutely. Oh, all the time. So we, we can commiserate in that regard. And like, I'll even grant it to the uh, the communists, like especially the avowed Marxists that they get abused too in their language. Like people just call, you know, AOC a Marxist. Like, no, she's just <laughs> a liberal. <laughs> Like, I haven't seen AOC out here, like, calling for factories to be controlled by the workers. Or, you She's, know, like, saying, like, oh, let's change health care a little bit. Yeah. Language language is a, is a unfort- can be an unfortunately misused thing. I mean, remember when um, people were calling Matt Gates a pedophile because he hooked up with a 17-year-old woman? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I, I think she was sex trafficked. But that's neither yeah, remember, here nor there. Remember when he actually? <laughs> it was Gates, right? Who said he like had his his <clears throat> ex girlfriend's younger brother living in his house, Nestor. Well, who? I mean, who doesn't? You know? I don't. <laughs> I don't think you do just... either. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were, uh, he was all like, yes, I love him like a son. Oh, yeah, some, right. He's like, I like also that. have a black child or a child of <laughs> color. His name is Nestor and he's my girl, my ex-girlfriend's younger brother who lives in my house. And I'm like, uh, is there something you want to tell mm, us? us but... Yeah. Well, uh, we can, we can go ahead and move on to, uh, our first, our first segment here. I just need to tell everybody that, uh, our election was stolen. It was stolen. I know it's hard to believe it. Not, not any election in particular. Okay. I'm not saying any particular election was stolen YouTube, but the president we have right now is not in fact, the U S president, our real president, our radical centrist president is Gail Cord Schuler. Now, who is Gail Cord? Schuler, let's uh, watch this little video and find out. I have been, I have been the U.S. Empress since 2014, and I have been the U.S. President actually since 2016, because I'm the one who got Donald Trump into office. Um, wow. We thought he was dead at the time, and I <laughs> ran in place, and I said anybody who votes for Trump is voting for me. But when we found oh. him in our final battle with Angelina Ballerina, oh, and I, reached, <laughs> I allowed him to get the president job, and I kind of took the back seat. But the last election we had in uh, 2020 uh, was totally taken over by Satan and Lori McBride Jesuits. Lori has come to our side, and so I decided to assert myself as president. Uh-huh. So that's Gail Cord Schuler. Um, she's a very mentally sound woman who, <laughs> you know, she she's coming out with her truth and she's letting us know what's really going on. All this misinformation, disinformation Where you see you on the this? internet. Where did, Where did I find you, this? Where did you find this? Uh, you see, the thing is, I'm a very uh, big brained individual. Um, I'm deep into online politics and... So I, I question everything. I question everything. And something about, of course. you know, our current administration, I thought this this is exuding some satanic energy. I'm not really feeling this. Something's wrong here. I need to get down to the bottom of this. And my, my dedicated centrist research has led me to our true president, our true radical centrist queen, Gail Cord Schuler. Yeah, you guys I, have I, any I, thoughts I, I, about I don't know what... <laughs> So she was an empress before she was president. Um, why, why does she like feel like the president's title is even worth happening or even worth having if she's the empress? The, pres- the president job. Yeah, pre- yeah well, president job. I, I would assume that, uh, you know, when, when she took over, uh, you know, she saw that the forces of Satan had taken the office from her and she needed to assert her, uh, you know, she needed to assert her dominance over the empire. Um, <laughs> what the fuck are you going on about? Well, look. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Did she also? She didn't even say that she. Um. She, did she even say? Because she said she gave up the position after winning in 2016. Okay, if I'm yeah, recalling because... correctly. But then she didn't really say that she ran. So she didn't say she ran in 2020. In 2020, did she? So why would she be president right now? Look, this is a spiritual question. 
uh, that's beyond my comprehension necessarily. But what does I she do have know, an accredited source to back up her claim? She does. She does. I do have some clips going over her cabinet, the people that she's chosen to, you know, help lead the country and steer us back into the right direction. You might be wondering to yourself right now, why why is this guy, Orion, you know, shilling so hard for radical centrist queen Gail Cord Schuler? And I think after you see her cabinet picks, you're going to be uh you're gonna get Gail pilled. <laughs> so let's fucking go. Right now. Okay, the um Co-president and vice president, Jesus Christ, the deity, the son of God, Amen, the Amen, sister. The vice president, two people, Brent Spiner and Jesus Christ. Secretary of State, Rand, Rand Paul. Okay. Um, director of communications, Vladimir Putin. Secretaries of Health and Human Services, Bernie Sanders and Gerard Butler, M.D. Uh -huh. So see, she's taking this is people a very from centrist all... cabinet. It really is. She's taking people from all across, you know, not just our nation, but our world and putting them in positions of power to help heal the divides. Global leadership with a centrist cause. Wait, who are who are the ones who it was? I heard Rand Paul and um, Rand Paul, uh, Vladimir McDonald. Putin, uh, Bernie, Bernie Sanders, <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, yeah, Jesus is both the co-president and vice president. Oh, nice. Good for Jesus, honestly. He Jesus been is up my co-president. That's like a bumper <laughs> sticker, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Grillcast merch ideas. All right. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is my co-president. So uh, oh, we have man. some more, some more of her cabinet picks. You're going to be amazed at oh, her. Uh, <laughs> I can okay, hardly so contain I have to my tell excitement. You, before, before I go on, I have to let you know this was a 30 minute video where she just goes on, like saying oh, every oh, person in of her course. entire cabinet, <laughs> on and on and on. And man. I, it was hard to pull clips because they're all so amazing. But uh, yeah, do we know who like the chief of staff is to like to get this whole like all star team together? Does she? Did I start, think she goes she, over that in the new video. If she's if she's naming like du like a bunch, is she like making up positions as it goes on? Uh, you know, <laughs> I'll let I'll let her tell it. I'll let her speak okay. her truth. Secretary of Commerce Joe Jorgensen. She's a libertarian. Oh, no. Oh, no. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Ben Carson. Press mm. Secretaries, Tucker okay. Carlson and Kanye oh, West. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Office of Management and Budget, Jesse Ventura. What? Trade Whoa. Representative, Vladimir Jesse. Putin. Putin. The EPA Director and the Secretary Putin. of the Interior is Bill Nye. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's collecting the greatest minds in oh the world. Oh my god! Okay, tell me this. Tell me this, guys. Do you really think that this cabinet she's putting together is worse than what we've had for like our entire lives? The fucking like no. weird, deep, demonic, like baby baby eaters and pedophiles that like comprise the cabinets we currently have. Like what what she's putting together here would make everyone happy, except for the Joe Jorgensen thing. Like no, <laughs> that no makes everyone Come unhappy. <laughs> No, nope. like, it's like everybody hated out. that. Everybody hated that. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, I have more. Are you guys interested in more? Or are you guys getting bored? Oh with man, this? I'd love to hear more. I I want to get the chief of staff because that explains like how this team got brought together. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Secretary of Defense, and this is position. He's been in this position for about a year and a half. Vladimir Putin. Deputy Secretary Again. of Defense, Sergei Shoigu, Damn. so don't believe all... The reason you're hearing all wow. this fake news about Vladimir attacking Ukraine is because Satan and the current Jesuits, uh, who are, and I believe the current Jesuit leader is the Brent Spiner clone, are trying to make it appear that I am not the president and I'm just this crazy lady, Okay. So they're trying to oh, create man. all this what fake a, I hate it when they can't be. Ukraine, <laughs> trying to make it look like there's a big war going on, going on over there. And nothing like, he's my secretary of defense. <laughs> 
So the joke's on you if you believe all that crap. <laughs> okay. I, I like how she laughs like Chris Chan. <laughs> yeah, she does. Dude, that's like a that's like a like autistic schizophrenic thing is having that that laugh. Like, she yeah, seems just... bewildered that anyone would not believe her. Like, ha, jokes on you, retard. <laughs> They're just lying about a war in Ukraine. I didn't <laughs> tell Vladimir to do that. <laughs> no, but I I believe her honestly. Like, have you been to? I I haven't been to Ukraine. Like, all it's I, just like all I've seen is like pictures on Telegram and like that's it. We sent our wartime analyst uh, Andy the soldier there, but he didn't actually do his fucking job. So we, yeah, we don't actually have any footage. footage or yeah. Don't send a soldier to do uh, a journalist. Sorry, well, yeah, journalist. <laughs> 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 the real <laughs> attack attack to right. miscalculation on our part. <laughs> so uh you know that that long awaited um chief of staff position i believe that's in this last clip i have of oh, queen yes. gail cord schuler empress empress radical centrist empress queen gail cord schuler radical empress acting head of state united kingdom in <laughs> ireland this is my um these are our, our League of Conspiracy Law honoring nations around the world. I've had to uh, set up heads of state in other countries so that we can have an effective alliance. Acting Head of State United Kingdom and Ireland, Gerard Butler, MD. Acting Head of State Canada, mm. Keanu Reeves. Don't be, you might say, oh, it doesn't sound like it. You need to go to Gabriel Tonnebaum's news. Wholesome. Acting Head of State Australia, Hugh Jackman. Acting Governor of Texas, Matthew mm -hmm. McConaughey, the real Matthew McConaughey, not the Based. clone. German Chancellor Vladimir well, Putin, German President <laughs> Adolf Hitler. Yes. <laughs> yeah, see, there's a win for you, buddy. Uh, I thought I thought that she put the chief of staff in there. Her chief of staff is also Vladimir Putin, who she's put in like 10 positions. Uh, Can you imagine being Vlad's Putin? Vlad's got you clout, man. How many different accounts does he have to log into, like... Uh, he has to log into the Secretary of Defense account. Then he has to log into the acting uh, ruler of Russia account. Uh, he probably just stores it all on Hillary Clinton servers. <laughs> yeah. He has throwback. access. He's, yeah, throwback. But yeah, uh, I, I just think, you know, I wanted to let everybody know about Queen. Hey, Gilcourt can you guys keep Julie. it down? I'm trying to scroll, right? He's scrolling. Oh God, I'm scrolling. The the 32 year old scroller. Okay. Hey, hey, I'm 25. Yeah, no, he I, just I, looks 32. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the cigarettes. From the will do smoking that. and the girds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Well, uh, I guess we'll move on from this segment then. You know, I thought. Good segue. Well, you, what are you giving me, Micah? What are you giving me, yeah, motherfucker? That was mean. <laughs> oh, I'm being mean. You're okay. scrolling. Okay, all right. We're trying um, to do a show was here. Get, that, that was a uh, that was get back for the uh, the age comment. Look, we didn't mean that. I did. I meant it fully. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about uh the the big the big chungus story in the news lately. Leah Thomas, based based female athlete who's making all the conservatives seethe right now. Indeed. They're so angry about Leah Thomas. Uh, you know she's she's gone in and she's destroyed the competition because you know she's a she's a trans woman biologically she's better than the other women that are uh in in the competition and rhydoids will try and tell you that it's like oh she she was a man all of her life Haters so her muscles say it's fake. <laughs> they'll say they'll say oh her muscles you know she has big old man muscles but it has nothing to do with that because you take you take the uh estrogen your muscles they decline it has everything to do with her male brain exactly. you know her bravery <laughs> her bravery out there swimming uh her courage um not getting distracted by thoughts of shopping you know these are all things that led her into victory <laughs> yeah um, no, i mean if, if you're thinking about like clothes and boys all the time then you're gonna lose i'm sorry you're gonna take the l 
You're like, gonna take the L. And if you like have to stop every like what three fucking seconds to take another fucking selfie for your Instagram, you're gonna lose <laughs> a race. I'm sorry. That's just how it works. Like if you're going to like literally stop and pull out your fucking phone again, like you're not gonna win. Her superior male brain led her to, you know, eschew those distractions and be led to victory. Yeah, I can't I can't wait for this to be be normalized so that uh, conservatives can go back to not caring about female sports. <laughs> Yes. Uh, it'll be sooner than you think. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts on um uh, on this whole like trans swimmer and like female sports situation? It's fucking retarded. This country's a joke. <laughs> a very uh, poignant. Uh, I'm f- I hate being an American take. sometimes. <laughs> It's like I. It's just like embarrassing, man. But, do, but do, like, would you would you at least admit that the right is being a bit um, cringe with the response here? I mean, they're not actually the, doing anything. Like, what is the response? Well, actually, actually, uh, Nikkei, a governor of the governor of Florida did something. What, what do you do? We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But Nike, like, I just want to let you know that uh, I respect you guys in this issue a lot more than I do like the normal conservatives because. At least you like fash types will just be like, oh yeah, I think those people are gross and I don't like them. They shouldn't yeah, be Yeah, it's here. fucking gross. But like conservatives, dude. dude, conservatives will be like, oh, well, you know, they can do whatever they want, live and let live, but I just care so much about women's sports. The integrity I mean, of the game. The integrity of the women's sports. Like, <laughs> uh, what, are you betting on this or something? No. <laughs> are you watching this? No. You just, they, they think oh, the same fuck. thing you do, but they're too much of pussies to just be like, yeah these people are gross that's a good point this is a new innovation in sports betting like now i just <laughs> bet on the tranny and, and i can repeat for infinite money <laughs> yeah but the odds won't be in your favor they're gonna be what, like i win yeah, like 10 we- bucks on a hundred dollar bet how many times do i have to do that you think they're gonna <laughs> take up. those bets no yeah that's true it could, they it could. let me they won't let me bet Look, if I if I get to leverage the transphobia thing, I'm going to leverage it against sports betting uh, bookies that won't let me bet on the man. I, I honestly <laughs> hadn't thought about how this is going to completely disrupt. Like, if it gets very conventional, like trans people in, in women's sports, how it would completely uh, disrupt sports betting. Although I, I actually don't really know also if that many people like watching women's sports actually participate <laughs> Dude, in betting. Yeah, it's going to disrupt the literally dozens of dollars that are put into <laughs> women's sports betting. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, man. Look, I, I wasn't going to bet on women's sports before, but now that I feel pretty confident about the outcome... <laughs> I'm all in, baby. <laughs> I'm clairvoyant. I don't know how I keep choosing the right winner every time. It just look. I, seems I, I to just materialize. I, I just play the statistics. I just play the <laughs> play the odds. <laughs> as long yeah. as they don't kill themselves before the race, I'm gonna win for sure. <laughs> I, I think I put a million dollars down and lose it all because he intentionally drowns himself. <laughs> we, we also shouldn't turn a blind eye to the fact that like yeah while the conservatives are being cringe with their with their coping over this issue i mean the, the the left the left wing is also not doing a great job in responding by giving the um ever excellent answer of uh there's no difference there, there, there's no difference <laughs> what what is do you what have a source about? for that do you have, do you have a, a source, source for their do you, yeah, yeah, do, you have, do you have the statistics <laughs> from the last like 80 uh you know public uh games where a trans person participated uh and the the aggregate total time for each of those races that they participated in to, to do a comparative study uh, to find out whether or not they actually are at an advantage, playing at an advantage. Do you have those numbers Look, on hand? Do you have the study that invalidates your opinion? If you don't, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> See, I think the biggest like tip off to that, and it, it let's let's be honest, like they don't even believe it. They just you know their wing they're coats just going they have along to dig with in it. their heels. It, it's like okay, so show me the like the female to male trans athlete that's like wrecking the competition if, if if it's equal right does that is that there does that exist that's a good point and i don't know why why the fuck would you just make that decision uh wait a second didn't they have like the uh the ftm like competing with the women i have no idea i don't i don't watch or care about women's sports i'm not going to use women's sports as a leverage to be like, no, trans people. Grr. This is the most attention women's sports <laughs> has had in ever. 
Like, has yeah. anyone given a fuck about women's sports more than right now? Well, nobody has, especially as Micah was alluding to earlier. Uh, Governor Ron DeSantis, you know, he's 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 a he, he's a big boy, right? He's he he's coming out here. He's defending the sanctity of women and women's sports. Hey, you don't do that in my women's sports, bro. I care about women's sports, bro. That's what he says today. Uh, I'll go ahead and play a video of him talking about this. The NCAA uh, is basically taking efforts to destroy women's athletics. They're trying to undermine the integrity of the competition, and they're crowning integrity. somebody else uh, the woman's champion. And we think that's wrong. And so in Florida, oh, I'm going to be uh, wow. later today because this is a Floridian who I think deserves to be recognized. You know, we're going to be doing a proclamation uh, saying uh, that Emma is the best female swimmer in the 500 meter freestyle because she earned that and we need to stop Amazing. allowing organizations like the ncaa to perpetuate frauds on the public wow you just owned the tranoids there <laughs> fucking ron desantis that proclamation we're gonna, give away, we're gonna proclaim that this other person actually won even though they didn't here have this no. participation trophy. that is such a fucking cope oh my god that's embarrassing God, I fucking hate Ron DeSantis so much. I fucking loathe that You guys, that idiot. no, you don't understand. The cis, the cis cuck won the race. No, you guys, Trump won the election. No, yeah, you guys, God. police, police don't have to prove that they're good. No. No, Christ. guys, please just trust me, bro. Look, we passed, we passed a, a resolution, guys. We passed a resolution. <laughs> Look, the paper says it's on the record. <laughs> Vote for me for president in 2024. Yeah, because that's pretty much. that. That's literally what it comes down to. Is like, dude, the conservatives will see that and they'll be like, "Wow, he's really standing up for women." This guy is based. and women's sports. Whoa, this guy he's is gonna win the women based. vote in twenty twenty four. The turf vote. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna win like the all fucking... all twelve twer turfs. Tur Ron DeSantis yeah. with running mate J.K. Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and just going back for a second to like the the whole argument, I, I like oh I can't believe we're gonna make women compete with men. They already are. No, you They're know already what the cope, competing. The with cope men. ticket is it's going to be Ron DeSantis and uh, Bruce Jenner. <laughs> no, Caitlin they wouldn't. Jenner. They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't let that happen. Uh, they might. Never mind. I take it back. They might let that happen. If They'll Trump, like, if Trump wasn't running, we have they... our our base tranny who opposes women or uh, trans women and women's sports. Yeah, see, we're inclusive in the Republican okay. Party. That's one thing that I don't like about uh, Caitlyn. Let me correct you there, sir. Caitlyn Jenner. All right, I I need everyone to know that like I'm a good boy. she's oh Kate, she's a grifter. Caitlin. She's one hundred. Okay, here's my thing, dude. This is it pisses me off when like people who are leaders in their industry like pull up the ladder and. Make Make sure that other people can't like go in and, like like caitlin jenner went no you're being like trans champion. the wrong way yeah and now now caitlin's pulling up the ladder and being like no i'm the only i'm the only trans person that gets to be a fucking like gold medal trans community <laughs> yeah as with all other things or you should just get back into the game Fuck yeah it. like yeah. i don't care how old he is he's like uh just Sign up for the Olympics again. You could probably still win. What probably. against women, or are you saying? Yeah, because yeah. because again, it's like you know, it's a battle of the minds when you're out there on the field. You know, women just don't have the mental <laughs> fortitude. The woman's brain does not have the mental fortitude to like. It's you know, not smart enough to propel your legs forward. Right. You know, they're clumsy. Have you ever seen a woman fall? They fall like toddlers. Like they don't. They have no coordination. <laughs> These people. Oh it's, man. It's, Look, the irony is uh, is deep. When uh, I remember that one one Olympics year, that that woman uh, from some country, she fell in the track race, and her last name was literally Stumbleova. <laughs> no way! Look really? it up. No, Look up Stumbleova <laughs> I'm not falls doing Olympics. that. I'm not doing that. Yo, are, am I getting like? D like a D's nut sort of deal or like no. a Joe Mama. That's what it kind of sounds like. <laughs> Bulgarian athlete Vanya Stambolova lives up to her name <laughs> by stumbling over at the first hurdle in the four hundred meter. 
from the Dude, Daily that Mail. That chick had to. She had to have killed herself after that. <laughs> I, you don't live that down. Like lived up to I'm, her name. Everybody is just making jokes about you're her a all fuck, the time. You're literally a dad joke. <laughs> I hope. Um, I hope she actually doesn't know English, so she doesn't know how retarded it makes her look. Yeah, that's like she only speaks Bulgarian, so she doesn't know how embarrassing it really was. There's your silver lining, everybody who's feeling bad for Miss Stumbleova. Yeah, she doesn't know English. Bulgaria is not rich enough to teach you that language. <laughs> So, uh, I think, does anyone else have any thoughts about, uh, you know, trans swimmer Leah Thomas, who has been wrecking the competition? I wish her all the, all the success in the future going forward. Oh, I, don't worry. I, I am. <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> she won't need your luck. Dude, I, I don't know. It's just so annoying. The sanctity of women's sports. Yeah, I was, I was My saying like. My sister plays soccer. And, uh. <laughs> What if the man the, the, came the, up? And, the, sorry, the point God. about like um, people, people who say like, "Oh, they're actually going to make women compete against men in professional women's sports," and it's like, "Well, they already are, and they're getting fucking trounced." Okay. Yeah. What are you going to do? In terms about of the it? numbers, yeah. You know, so. What are you going to do about it, Normie? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm. You know what I'm going to do about it is I'm going to compose some tweets that say, you know, did you know that that person is biologically a male? Ha, I'm going to make a... retweeted by Ben what? Shapiro. I'm going to yeah, make a what? YouTube video. Nobody's thought of that. I'll no. make a YouTube video that exposes the truth. I'm I stand play... in defiance to the globo homo world order by making a mean tweet I'm going to about... protest by not watching women's sports. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that is, that is the easiest slacktivism life hack I've ever heard. Like protesting this by well, not I'm watching not women's post. sports. I should post that. <laughs> I am boycotting. So the many people of, I can piss off of women's collegiate sports. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, oh Nikki, uh, what's going on over at the, at, at the right stuff dot biz? What's, uh, yeah, what's, what's, what, all what's that a good about? word over there, buddy? Oh, well, uh, you can check me out on, uh, the programs like Hate House, uh, the Third <laughs> Rail, for fuck's sake. and, uh, the Young Whites. Oh my God. Um, occasionally on a show called Hyper Podcastism. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, we didn't watch that, um. I wanted to show Nikkei that that video um, oh. to give him a good to give him a good idea of why the fas the fascists are no longer uh, platformed on YouTube is because videos yeah, like this because, one because of shit oh, like boy. this. Look, if if you guys wanted to be platformed, like you know, maybe you should consider like how you're dressed. You know, you're not the victims here. You're kind of asking for it. Um, oh, and this man, video. What do we got? <laughs> This video here is going to really show uh, exactly what kind of content it is that makes us, you know, everybody who wants a polite, nice internet free of fascism. Uh, it's going it, to, this is what makes us tick. So here we go. Squidward clearly represents the Apollonian Aryan man. Stern, <laughs> cultured, full of the creative Hyperborean soul and solar aristocratic character. And yet there is a tragic aspect to his character, in that his spiritual and creative passions are given no place in the degenerate modernistic kosher bacchanal that is modern crabs run bikini. <laughs> SpongeBob represents the Dionysian aspect of Aryan culture. He is the unawakened Gentile who has succumbed to cultural Marxist brainwashing, always maintaining a cheerful, carefree demeanor, and yet fawning and servile before the Semitic station <laughs> power structure. Patrick represents the indoctrination of the primitive Negroic blood <laughs> into the formerly white, pure oh ethnos. My God. He is an utter buffoon, an unproductive, anti-social drain on society, and yet the good goa SpongeBob has been conditioned to accept his friendship, unaware of how his own way of life is gradually succumbing to the platonic subterranean Negroid elements. As I'm sure we're all aware, well aware. Oh my God. 
Thank you for that, Micah. Um, uh, I, I have to tell you guys that there's more where that came from. Oh, I know. I oh, know. Yeah? Uh, I, I posted that uh, that same uh, video. Yeah, there, there's the problem. <laughs> there's, huh? the, there's the problem. I posted that. <laughs> well, I didn't ch- come up with it. I wish I did. It's fucking hilarious. Um, but I posted it to my uh, my Pleroma account. How do you, how some, do you, uh, you know... I mean that that but isn't that just the thing? Like that's that's exactly why you guys aren't allowed on on uh, you you guys aren't platform because of stuff like that. Oh man, if if that's the cost, then fuck YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I, I need well, that in my life. That's so <laughs> fucking funny. I I kind of agree with that. Um, I think we should be we should platform all hate speech. Uh, if Based? only <laughs> if only to laugh at it and be like, wow, you guys are retarded when you go too far. Things like that are hilarious. But well, sometimes that's clearly parody. That's a parody. That's not. And, that's a parody. Oh, next thing you're going to be saying, we're a parody. <laughs> but I, okay, we should have non-parody hate speech as well because I like to look at those people and laugh. Like, dude, there's literally some rightoids that are out there that literally just they'll post like 20 minute videos of them just seething, being like, "Ooh, black people, <laughs> I hate them." No, and it's like it's so funny. I don't get why you'd want to take that down and take that away from me to like make fun of. It makes it it makes it hard. It now does. I, you have to dig deep for that content. Yeah, like you know, leftist cringe is everywhere. It's on the front page of yeah of like. It's a little unfair. It's every, distribution. What, did, what did they mean by this? <laughs> what you know? Oh wow, they're promoting the leftist cringe. Well, like keeping the the rightist cringe down. Interesting. Yeah, it <laughs> seems like maybe they're protecting you uh, from yourselves. These Giving stewards. Giving us a pass. These big tech stewards of uh, <laughs> really makes you, you know think. rightoidism. Yeah, no, it does really? make me think. So Zuck yeah, had I guess your back uh, the whole time. Maybe yeah, maybe it's uh. <laughs> Maybe maybe you got everything backwards, you know. <laughs> Perhaps I don't know. Got, it's gonna gonna make me reconsider my previously conceived notions. <laughs> well, that's what that's what this show's about, you know. That's that's oh yeah, that's really Deep what this program is all about. And, uh, the introspection that we we yeah. cause people to go through who uh, come and talk to us on the show is is pretty. Profound. Maybe our real friends were the big tech platforms that banned us along the way, ba- <laughs> you know. <laughs> Maybe real maybe. fashion is the friends we made along the way. Maybe. Yes. So uh, I think that about wraps up what we got here today. Uh, thank you, my gorillas, for listening. If any of Nikkei's audience are still listening at this point, um, I love Israel. I hate anime. Uh, yeah, all that fun stuff. Peace out, my gorillas. Yeah, I'm old as a boomer. My mindset on Zuma. Everything cooler, long as I'm not Laura Luma. If you think I'm not number one, I just spell that rumor. Hit that victory boy, yeah, along some motherfucking coochie. Default dance on a bitch. Hit the default dance on a bitch. Floss dance while I'm flossing in the whip. Victory boy, uh. yeah, when that chop I hit. Mm. Self incrimination, I have no participation. News keep asking, I don't say shit. You can't have my conversation. Jews! <laughs> Those freaking Jews! Oh, I hate them! Ha, 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 ha